let's go over our pressure injury stages. With a stage one pressure injury, damage is limited to the epidermis. The skin will be red, non-blanchable, and intact. With stage two, we now have an open wound with partial thickness skin loss. So we have damage to both the epidermis and dermis. The wound base will be red and moist, or we could have a serous filled blister. With a stage three pressure injury, damage extends to the subcutaneous tissue. Bone, tendon, and muscle will not be visible, although undermining and tunneling may be present. With a stage four pressure injury, we have full thickness skin loss with exposed bone, muscle, or tendon. With an unstageable pressure injury, the depth of the wound is unknown because the wound base is covered in necrotic tissue. It could be covered in eschar, which is this black substance, or slough, which is a creamy whitish yellow color and kind of looks like chicken fat. With a deep tissue injury, or DTI, you may have intact skin or non-intact skin, and you will have purple or maroon discoloration or you may see a blood-filled blister. For more information on prevention, staging, and treatment of pressure injuries, check out our wound care deck available at levelupRN.com.